Welcome back. Today we are doing a building project. Now tomorrow we're going to go look at some pigs and in order to have pigs you have to have somewhere to put them. And the way we did it last time, not so good. Uh, we need something that's a little sturdier, a little more um, difficult for them to escape even though this breed of pigs uh, aren't runners like our last breed were. But we have a couple challenges that make uh, building this a little more difficult. As you can see, there's snow everywhere. Uh, so putting a fence in in the snow, not ideal. But what makes it worse is the snow is pretty frozen. So as you can see, we made these paths through the snow when it first fell. And since then, it is frozen. Like right now, I am standing on top of the deep snow and it's completely frozen. So we're going to find a way to plow through some of that. So we are planning on using these pallets to build a little pen and put the pigs, um, we're going to build the pen around this little shed, we're going to take the doors off and then uh, the pigs can go in and out of there for shelter and we're going to stuff it full of straw. Uh, we are able to get the door open even though the snow is hard. It's about 26 degrees out and it's been mostly below 30 for as far back as I can remember, and even colder than that before that. So um, I haven't been out a whole lot uh, this winter doing a whole lot of stuff, but I know even driving up here with our four-wheel drive vehicles, it's tough when the snow gets super crusty like this. Little turkey tracks everywhere. Liberty's kind of obliv obliterated them, but... Like little arrows. So in this shed, all that there was was a bunch of tires, some fishing pole, some fencing that we just stuck up here, and then this straw that we're going to use. But it's also like a museum of bees nests from over the years. Ugh. I don't know if those should be taken down. Like, do those kind of bees come back to their nests? I'm not sure. So we'll make like a big rectangle. Yeah. And you're probably thinking like, hmm, some of those pallets look pretty janky. I don't know if that's going to be the best idea. This only has to last until spring when the ground thaws out and we can do a more permanent pen. But uh, the pigs that we're getting aren't like our other pigs. These are known to be very docile and gentle and they don't root really bad. So we think this will hold them. So we're going to end up taking these doors off can you hold it so down? that the pigs can come in and out. And then we can reuse the hinges on the gate that we make. You can put it in my hand. I got all the nails. All right, both doors are off now. That's our new little rooster practicing his crow. Our neighbor gave us baby chickens this summer and we didn't know any of them were roosters until uh, this one started, started crowing. Oh, Liberty, stay. There was a turkey popping around the side of that building. Um, we leave food out here for our rabbit, and the turkeys come and eat it. So we've got two roosters now. We heard more crowing coming from in here, and I'm pretty sure that guy right there is a rooster too. So we're gonna have three roosters. All right, shut the door. So we got the first two pieces in, 
we're going to bring it out around and over there and depending on how many pallets we have we might bring it out on that side too but we're not sure yet Bye. You might lose your glasses. So here's where we're at. We have both sides done and these ends aren't screwed in yet. We're kind of figuring out how we want them to go because that is going to be our gate piece. So we have to figure out how we're going to attach that and make that work. So we've got everything ready but the gate, but Junior's just going back through and putting in like a million more of these little bracing pieces to try to help get it as sturdy as it can possibly be. So we're robbing parts off this old door. We already took some hinges off of it and now we'll get the little latch. So we didn't get this thing finished until last night and it was dark and we couldn't film a thing. So here is the complete pig shelter. Why didn't you open that gate for me, hon? And we went and got the pigs this morning and they have not even tried to test this fencing. They kind of wandered around a little bit and then came straight in here and they're already making their homes. They're Mishan pigs. And it's a boar and two gilts, and they think one or both of them might be pregnant. So we'll be looking forward to little piglets in the future. We're hoping this brings us just one step closer to a little bit more self-sufficiency, being able to provide for ourselves and eat meat that we know we're going to like. So thanks for watching.